Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I know I've been a little MIA for the past like week and a half. My skin was just going through a mental breakdown phase, you know, it kind of still is. So I was going through a little period of just not really liking me very much, you know, it was doing everything it could to stop me from doing what I needed to do, which is film YouTube videos. So I gave it a rest. I didn't wear makeup for like a week, just gave my skin a bit of a break, you know? A little bit better, still not quite there yet, but I can't let it take over my life, you know? I've gotta keep going. I really wanted to film a YouTube video because Alphalete is releasing a whole new collection, whole new leggings on Saturday the 19th of January. It doesn't matter if I'm sponsored by the company, it doesn't matter if I'm working with them long term, short term, whatever. I will always tell you my actual honest opinions and also if I didn't really like most of like let's say Alpha Elite's clothes and stuff I wouldn't be working with them because that just wouldn't make sense like why would I want to work with a brand that I don't actually like and the thing I love about Alpha Elite is that they always just let you tell the truth they just allow everyone to be like as honest as they want you don't have to say certain things, like this, nothing is scripted, it's just a really nice company to work for because there's no pressure, like you don't have to like every single thing they release, like there's always going to be a legging or a top or a sports bra or whatever that you just don't vibe with as much as you do with another and that's totally fine. Everyone has different body shapes, everyone looks for sportswear for certain things, like if you want to do cardio or weightlifting or yoga, you know, etc. So it just depends on the person, it depends what your body shape is, what kind of legging you like, what you need from it, if you want it to be more compressive, if you want it to be more stretchy, it just depends on the individual. So everything is releasing on the 19th, I have a list here of everything. As always I'm going to try everything on for you guys and tell you the pros and cons as I always do and be honest, like you can trust my review is what I'm trying to say, like you can trust, you know. So if you know my reviews, I always like to start off with my favourite products. And my favourite products from this release is a very, very, very cute little crop top. If you've seen my Instagram and my workout videos on there, all I ever wear are these kind of tops. Like, I don't feel comfortable enough wearing sports bras to the gym. That's just me. There's nothing wrong with it. If you feel comfortable doing so, you know, go ahead. But personally, I just like having something... Just anything over the top. These are perfect. They have like an oversized baggy look. They're so comfortable. And I know for sure I'm gonna wear those too much. I'll show you all the other colors on the screen which I don't have because I'm not sent every single color of everything. Um, so yeah, aqua, black, white, and also a rose color. But in terms of size, super true to size, they, these are like an oversized fit anyway, so if you want to size down, you can. If you want to size up for an even baggier fit, you can as well. If you just want like the classic look that you get with them, like just the oversized baggy look, then just stay with your normal size because they will fit so nicely and still have like a load of room for you to breathe. It's got like a raw hem at the bottom which is so cute. It makes it look a little bit more like scruffy but in a nice way. You can definitely, definitely wear those out of the gym as well. Like with a pair of black leggings or in um, summer you can wear them with like a pair of denim shorts and then the top. Super cute, would highly recommend out of everything. They are my favourites. So my second favourite item from this release is probably what I'm wearing right now. I think this jumper is the most adorable thing in the world, especially the white one, like this one. I know I'm going to get a fake tan all over it and it's going to be a mess, but I just love it. I think it's just so cute. Literally so cute and beautiful, especially with a pair of like grey leggings or probably any colour leggings actually because white goes with everything. Yeah, so. So this logo here is actually um, like a 3D logo. Honestly, this hoodie just feels expensive. Like it just feels like a really, really nice, expensive, good quality hoodie. And I love the little detailing with the logo. It's a lot of like attention to detail with it, which I just think is just great, you know? Attention to detail is, is great. <laughs> love it, I'm gonna be wearing it a lot since it's still 
very awfully winter here in the UK and even in like spring and stuff it's still freezing so I will be definitely wearing this a hell of a lot of times. I love to wear this outside of the gym as well like if I'm going to like run errands or have like some appointments to go to just stuff like that I think this is just just cute you know. So next on my favourites list is the I really can't say this name it's Mary Meridian, 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 I think it's Meridian, I think I heard someone say Meridian, Meridian leggings and the Meridian sports bras. We're going to start off with the leggings and then hop on over to the sports bras and talk about those. They are very, very different from any other Alphalete legging I've tried. Um, a lot of people have been asking me if they're any like similar to the Revival leggings. And no, they are totally different from the Revival leggings. I wouldn't even compare the two. Like, they're just two completely different worlds, you know? So these leggings come in two different forms. The first is the pocket legging, where it's like this one actually, where there's a pocket on the side and a little more of a booty contour. I wouldn't really call it a booty contour. I would just call it like, you know, nicely placed seams my favourite is probably the pocket one just because I feel like it really suits this style of legging and then the second pair of legging is just the plain legging so this doesn't really have any of the booty contour stuff or the pocket it's just more of like a simple legging they're very 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 alike even with the fit the style everything the fabric pretty much identical um that's just the only difference difference dif different so both leggings come in black, lavender, meta grey, trinity blue and redwood. So basically black, lavender, grey, blue and red. My personal favourite colours, I would say the grey is probably my number one favourite just because I love grey, I think you can't go wrong with the grey. The black is also really nice and the redwood, I really really like the red. That's my second favourite. And then after that it would probably be the blue and then the lavender. I'm just not a big fan of like lavender colours, like kind of like a washed out purple. I would say they are true to size. I wear a small and the smalls fit me fine. So the waistband on these new leggings aren't as tight as the Revivals. I don't think they're as compressive as the Revivals in terms of the belly area which is kind of their downfall in a way because the Revivals really suck you in, like you ain't seeing nada. So the Revival leggings are like very good for bloke days, for period weeks, for just anything they just snatch you right up. Whereas these are, the rest of the leg, they are quite compressive, yes. I found them to be a little bit tight on my quads, but with the stomach area, they're not very compressive at all, in my opinion. They're quite loose on the stomach area. So if you're looking for a legging that really tucks you in and compresses you on the stomach area, I probably wouldn't recommend these, and I would definitely say to get every single colour possible of the Revival leggings because they are amazing. <laughs> like a almost slippery material. So it's like it's very slinky, very slippery, um, not very like cottony. I did train in these the other day, I think it was like two days ago, just to test them out because I always train in leggings before reviewing them on YouTube. I found that they performed super well in terms of like stretchiness. They were super stretchy, nothing kind of like made me uncomfortable to get into a position. They were just comfy leggings. Squat proof, yes. Sweat proof, I didn't see a drop of sweat anywhere, so it's a yes from me. The only downfall I had with them in the gym, this is the only thing really I can like critique on, is just again with the waistband, it's not as tight as the Revivals. So I did feel like they were falling a little bit. Nothing drastic, like they weren't falling to the floor and I was naked in the gym but just like ever so slightly would kind of like dip down a little bit so I'd just yank them up. To summarise, pros, they're really really nice looking legging, they're very flattering on the booty, they're very flattering on your legs because of like the little contour seams that they have. I love the pocket style, super super handy, very soft material, very stretchy material, squat proof and sweat proof. Now for the cons, just personally prefer a slightly more like I don't even know if this is the right word, but like cottony legging. 
Basically, I just prefer like a fabric similar to the Revival legging. And the second con I would give them would definitely have to be the waistband. I just wish the waistband was like a little bit more compressive, I guess. Those are just the two like things that I'm kind of nitpicking at really. Like they're not really that big of a deal. I am just a picky person. Like I'm very picky, you know. Big question that I've received a ton of is do you like these better than the Revival? No, I don't like these better than the Revivals because I don't like anything better than the Revivals. Do you see what I mean? <laughs> They're basically my all-time favourite legging, which is a big statement. Obviously, to get a legging that I like more than that is just going to be a difficult challenge. But these are good. These are good leggings. They made sure to make this um, contouring around the butt like high enough because a lot of leggings cut them down like here and it makes your bum look really small and weird but they basically like made it a lot higher so it just fits your bum perfectly and actually gives your bum like a lift up rather than like pushing it down which is not something that we want to do you know no one wants to have a push down butt by their leggings okay, moving on now because we have spent way too long talking about these leggings like just too long. The Meridian bras. These will all come in the same colours, which is amazing. Thank you, Alpha Elite, for like matching up all the sports bras to the legging. So every single one of these leggings will have a sports bra to match, both in the non-mesh sports bras, like the strappy ones, and also the mesh ones, which I'm going to mention in a second. As I just said, they will come in two different styles as well. One will be the mesh bra and then one is the strappy bra. These bras are very true to size, I feel. I'm a small and they fit totally fine. Not like too compressive, not that I have any boobs to compress anyway, but I mean like the rib cage and stuff, they just sit really, really nicely without like digging into your rib cage and like making it like sore after. I would class them as like a medium support um, but do take into consideration that I do have like a smaller bust and everything. I don't know how they would work for like a much bigger bust uh, lady, <laughs> but they do seem quite supportive to me. The fabric is pretty much the same to the legging. I just think they're really, really nice sports bras. I probably will get a lot of use out of them. I thought I'd mention really quick that they're also restocking two revival leggings. They're restocking the garnet red and the forest green. So the dark green colour and then the dark red colour. Please try the Revival leggings, like, please try them, you know, please. I just want to say a huge, huge thank you to anyone that decides to shop through my link for the new releases or for anything for that matter. It doesn't charge you anything extra at all, you just click the link and then um, buy something through it. It does help me to keep working with Alphalete and stuff, so I really am thankful if you do use it. So, thank you. <laughs> I would recommend just opening up the link now, getting familiar with the website. Have a look around, just like get familiar with it and maybe leave it open until the time of the release. Click refresh and all the new items should be there. Okay, so we've got two little things left. We've got the full length performance hoodie. This is basically similar to the cropped hoodies, but it's just the full length version. They're available in muted red, black, and pink rose. Same exact fabric as the cropped hoodies. If you've ever bought a hoodie from Alpha Leap before, you know how good the quality is. It really is worth it. They're really warm and cozy, but not like uncomfortable and like strangling you and just everything fits right. That's the most important thing. Like the arms just fit so crazy right that it's like actually weird how good they got it. There's not like a crazy amount of fabric pulling out. It's just fitted, but still spacious. I love the cuffs. I love how they come down a little bit lower so they don't just stop like here. That would have been awful. If I pull them fully down, they come about till here on me, but just wearing them normal, they just sit so right. <laughs> so the last thing is my least favorite, not because of the quality, not because of anything like that, purely for the reason that I am not a big fan of like tank tops. I just don't really think I suit them, I guess. I don't know. I feel a bit self-conscious in them but I do want to show you anyway and let you know, you know, let you know. So I think the logoing on these is so damn cute. They come with this like bib thing at the front and all you have to do is just tie that. It actually looks really cute when you tie it and everything. The material is really nice, really soft, kind of like flowy. It doesn't restrict you. It's just a comfy material. If they made the exact same thing, but with sleeves, you got me. Like they would be super, super, super cute and I would wear them every day. But like I said, I'm not a non-sleeve person. <laughs> the 
There's something in my eye. Oh. Uh, Oh, nothing to complain about these at all. Like they're just good little tank tops, except for the fact that I don't wear tank tops. Do you see what I mean? So that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this YouTube video. Again, just a huge, huge thank you if you guys decide to shop through my link. It will be below in the description box. So it'll be like the first thing on there. All you have to do is just click it and then that's, that's pretty much it. I really do appreciate it. Definitely like DM, comment, let me know if you use it so I can give you a little thanks, give you a little virtual hug. Any questions at all, please comment down below or DM me on Instagram and I will do my absolute best to get back to everyone before all the items release. But um, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye!